Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel. And um, today I'm going to do a collaboration with Star Now and the Bad Boosh, which is Joseph. And if you want to see this look, carry on watching now. Bye. Hey guys, um, how are you? Um, I know I haven't made a video in for ages. Oh, it's on Instagram. I haven't made a video in for ages, and um, I thought this make one today. Um, today this video will be a collaboration with Star Milan and Joseph, and his Instagram name is the Bad Boosh. Um, I actually came across Joseph's YouTube by going, I can't remember whose video was on that, it was in someone's, and he came on recommended pages, and I think I actually found him on Instagram actually, and like his videos are literally like amazing. Um, it's going to be like a freeway collaboration with me, him, and Star Milan. Obviously I've done a collaboration with him before, and I think Joseph has done a collaboration with him before also, so we also got together, well Star got us together and said, let's all do like, um, a video together. So I thought, okay, that's going to be cute. So we're going to do basically a Barbie boy tutorial. Um, it's just going to be, I'm going to do a really like sort of dark smoky eye lips. I was going to do lashes. I also use these Huda Beauty ones, but I can't find my glue, which is really annoying. Um, but it'll be fine anyway. Like, I'll just use mascara and it'll be fine. So I'm going to get started with the tutorial. And the reason I haven't made any videos is just because my memory card broke and I actually recorded six videos for you guys and it's just been so annoying. So, um, anyway, who cares? I'm going to do more videos and let's just start the tutorial. If you want to see what look I do, keep watching. Hey guys, so I'm basically using the NARS Smudge Proof Eye Base. This eye base is literally bomb. Um, I use it all the time when I'm doing a smoked eyelid because it really intensifies any colour you're going to use. I'm basically just going to put this on my lid. I'm going to need a little bit because it's quite um, opaque. And I'm just going to rub it using my finger because um, I find that it really warms into the skin when I use my finger. I'm going to go in with Foley and Texture if I can find it. <laughs> Them two there, Foley and Texture. I love these colours because they're just really warm. And when you do a small cure, you're not really supposed to just do your whole eye black. It's, it's got to have a transition colour. And these are my transition colours that I'm really just going to use to really make the eye pop instead of having all black. Because sometimes having an all black eye can really make you look really tired or it can just make you look really scary. So it's really not a cute look. But I'm using a 224 just to blend this in my crease. Well, I haven't got a deep set crease, so I'm just going to use that where my crease would actually be my eyes were that shape so yeah okay so I was, was putting my lighting because my lighting was being really weird and um, I look really tired I apologize in this video I'm going in with black track I'm gonna use this as a smoky eye base um, I was, I was gonna do this look in my last video when I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills the base but it didn't work out fine so I'm gonna use black track um, I really wanted to use the Inglot liner to be fair but um, I didn't have enough time to go out and buy it so Black track will do, um, it's not the blackest thing you can use but it will just do for look. But the thing with black track is when you put, apply it you have to blend so quickly because it sets like crazy. I'm just blend, using a 217 just to blend that in where I'll put the transition colour so I'm not going to go too high but you can see it's just have got, got like, you can see it's going really nicely. <laughs> oh my god, like yeah. And I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner. This eyeliner is amazing. Um, to be fair, I really should even wear this because my eyes water like crazy when I try and put it on. And to be fair, I just don't feel like when you wear contacts, eyeliner is just not the one because my eyes get really sore and puffy and it just does not look cute. But um, yeah, I'm just using a 239 now just to um, blend this out. Um, I'm going to create like a smoky effect under my eye just to create a cute look. Um, so my eyes are going really puffy and watery like crazy. So now I'm going to use a 217 just to clean up the edges. What am I looking for? Oh my god, I've, I've totally forgot to take the, t the sticker off my t-shirt. I'm going in with the NARS Pro Primer. This isn't the one with SPF, it's just the normal one. It's oil free. I'm just going to put this on. Uh, it's just basically a base, just so my foundation's got something to stick to. Um, this primer's okay, I do like it. Um, to be fair, primers are all the same to me, really. I think the only primer that I've used that's amazing, so I'd really go out and get again is the Tom Ford Illuminating one, but it's just too expensive to buy it every month. 
I'm going to use the NARS, I mean the MAC <laughs> Peppermint Prime and Peach Lustre. Um, I've got like, quite a bit of pigmentation around my mouth and some under my cheekbones and I just want to make that even because I find that if you don't really use the step you're going to use too much foundation to cover what you don't need to cover. And I'm just going to apply this around the mouth, under the eyes and just place it and brightening up. Um, it's a peachy tone, so um, anything peachy and anything like a deep skin tone like mine is just really going to brighten up the area and it's correct. So um, when it comes to applying a foundation, I don't need to apply it as much because it's just going to give me that sort of smooth finish because nothing will be different shades so it just won't go patchy because sometimes if I can really correct the area, some pigmentation still shows to your foundation unless it's really, really thick. So we don't need all of that up in here. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, it stopped working. But I thought it was broke to be fair because I bought this actually like on Saturday, but it, it worked. I just had to twist it a little bit more. But I didn't know that until after the video, so you can see why nothing's coming out, and I'm getting really, really annoyed. Okay, and I'm gonna use a beauty blender. Um, I've got three of these, like the original beauty blender is just amazing. I've used the real techniques one, I prefer the original one. For this beauty blender because it's just so soft and it blends everything in but there's a real pain to clean but um it's, these are amazing just sort of like blends under eye concealer highlight i'm gonna go in with now the ysl touche clap foundation i wouldn't normally wear this on a day well on like on a night out because i find that it's just too dewy and i, I have to touch up throughout the night but um i like it as a day foundation because it's really glowy and it makes my skin look amazing but to be fair when i wear this i have to touch up so much because it's such a dewy foundation that so much oil just comes through but sometimes a dewy look is cute but if you can if you can like afford to maintain it but if not just go for a matte one but i'm using the spectrum flat top brush to just blend this out which is the most amazing brush ever now i'm going in with the mac correcting conceal palette and i'm basically just going to use nw45 just to go under my eyes just to clean it up just in case there's any more darkness under there i love this concealer because it isn't as thick as the original one so it's just going to give me a more clean finish without being too heavy these are a bit more creamier than the original one because the original one's a bit more thicker and more dry Really sorry about the, the Instagram my t-shirt guys, um, I was actually going to do a primal call for you but my memory card stopped but it's okay, don't worry about it. Now I'm going in with the Anastasia um, cream contour palette, um, you know the colours are always used, I use this like crazy but to be fair I've been using it recently and I noticed it's been getting a bit, a bit dry on my skin so I always have to mix it in with a nice old moisturiser just so it's a bit more dewy on the skin so it blends in more longer. I'm just going to use a flat matte concealer brush to just blend this all out. I'm going to go in the triangle shape just so I can just blend this out like boom, boom, boom. I do love a bright under eye highlight. I know it's quite bright, but when I um, actually like blend it out and set it, it won't be as bright as this. But um, it's really if you want like a really awake look, I love it. Do my lip and the chin. Cupid's bow. <laughs> you know, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna go and get from my MAC flat top contour brush if I can find it. There it is. I'm gonna use the MAC flat. <laughs> I'm gonna use the MAC flat contour brush just to go into my cheeks. So I'm just gonna do this quickly. So it's when I come to blend it, I can blend both of them and it's gonna save me so much time. Because before I used to just do one and then the other and blend it, then it used to take so long and then Oh, this is just a long step, but um, I wouldn't recommend this every day just because I'm applying so much layers on the skin and it's just going to look way too heavy. But um, I'm just going to use a lighter colour now on the leaf just to make sure that highlight pops. Now I'm going to use a clean beauty blender. It just looks stained because when I wash it, it will come out. I'm just going to blend the highlight colour first and blend it down into my cheekbone. Blend, blend, blend. You can never blend your eyeliner out too much, like literally, 
like blend until you can see no more but obviously don't blend it until you can't see the light bits anymore that's why i always say go for a shade light because when a beauty blender blends it out it actually does blend it out so much into the skin that the color isn't as bright so just make sure you set it with a bright enough powder so you get the same kind of finish yeah <clears throat> So, I'm just gonna get the other now, other one, I'm gonna be blending out, blend out my contour, I'm just gonna blend that up and then into my temples, and then I'm blending it up again and into my temples again. Cute, cute, cute. And I'm blending my jaw, into my jaw, and blend the side of my cheekbones. Now I'm using a spectrum brush to go all over that because they've got so much like kind of like spacey bits where I just need to like blend it all out just so, just so it's all buffed and polished because no one likes it really like what's the word when it's all like um not messy I can't think of the word because I'm being part of this part now <laughs> just another day in my way okay what am I looking for okay I'm gonna do a nose contour using a MAC angled brush. I'm gonna do a highlight bit first, just so my nose is a bit more smaller. I don't really like my nose, I really want a nose job, but that, oh, I'll save that for another video. Let's put the dark color on these sides. I want this look to look really plastic. That is the look. So if you if you want if you want the natural look, this video is not for you. So this video is just going to be like a really beat beat look. So we some beat blend to so blend that out. Going back over with my spectrum brush. And I'm going in with banana powder. Um, I'm actually not a fan of banana powder, but I'm going to change it actually. I'm going to go for the Bobbi Brown Gold Orange because just because it has, is it isn't as dry. So I'm just going to use my beauty blender just to apply that all over where I've just highlighted. I'm going to make that cook on the skin. Well, not for too long because I really haven't got that much time. <laughs> With my camera keeps turning up, so I'm just going to put it under my highlighted bits, under my eyes, my lips, keep it spell. Now I'm going to take um, Karub, which I'm going to use to contour and I'm basically just going to use that just to contour my cheeks where I've put the darker areas I'm going to use the matte contour brush but this brush is a bit too dense to put my contour so I find it really hard to blend out without it looking too strong so I'm going to use the um, Sephora Precision Contour Brush in a second which you'll see that one there, it's amazing I got this when I was in Dubai and this brush is literally this shit and it just blends in the right places and it's just the right shape for under eye highlight and literally a cheap contour it's like so good now I'm, just gonna, I'm using the um, espresso powders to go over my nose contour again I'm gonna go into 224 just to blend that all out Whoop. blend 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 and I'm using um, the golden colour and the bronze colour from the Bobbi Brown palette so just to um, put on the tip of my um, nose just so my nose is just a bit more beat literally so cute <laughs> now it's time to wipe that highlight off because it's been cooking on the skin for about maybe three or five minutes now so i'm just going to make sure just to take it off properly oops now i'm going to use strip down before i take off that highlight because strip down is my favorite liner ever i think it's just the most beautiful nude pencil for a deeper skin tone I, and obviously it's Kim Kardashian's favourite line now so but I was using strip down before her anyway but sometimes I use it all over the lip but I find it's a bit too pale for me but I love that kind of pearl look anyway because I feel like it makes my lips look even bigger and yes yeah, so if anyone else I've had my top lip done again so um yeah I've had to fillers done again I was going to do a video about it but I feel like you guys really know I had it done so there's no need to explain again I've had fillers and I'm gonna use Spirit, which is my all-time favorite. And I go back to this sometimes, but I used to, I used to have like a crazy obsession with it. But um, I'm just gonna wipe off that highlight now, and then I'm just gonna um, blend it all out again with my brush. Now I'm gonna put some Tom Ford highlight. Guys, and that is the look complete. Um, it is quite intense. It's quite heavy, um, but it is a Barbie boy look. <laughs> I'm gonna let my hair down and then give it a comb.
I'm back Ray, so in case you didn't know. So. Um, contour on fleek. <laughs> oh. And let me set it with Pro Long Wear Powder just to finish off the look. To blend everything through. Thanks guys, bye.